Hey everyone, welcome to our guide for the upcoming Imaginary Erudition 5 star character, Rappa. She is set to be released in patch 2.6 of Honkai Star Rail, and she is shaping up to be an incredible AoE DPS with a unique playstyle. Rappa is the first Imaginary Erudition unit in Honkai Star Rail. She is incredibly efficient for free-to-play players to build because she synergizes well with break effect units such as the Imaginary Trailblazer and Ruin Mei. Now, let's dive into Rappa's kit. Her basic attack, Ninjutsu, Rise Above Tumbles, deals imaginary damage to a single target, scaling off her attack. The first two hits of her enhanced basic attack, Ningu, Demon Bani, Petal Blade, deal imaginary damage, scaling off Rappa's attack to one designated enemy unit and to adjacent targets. The third hit damages all enemy units. When attacking enemies that don't have imaginary weakness, an enhanced basic attack can still deal toughness reduction equal to 50% of the original toughness reduction value but is unable to recover skill points. This effect makes Rapper incredibly efficient for free-to-play players to build because Rapper can be used against enemies that are not weak to imaginary and still be effective. Her skill, skill. Ninja Strike, Rooted Resolute, deals imaginary damage scaling off Rapper's attack to all enemy units. Her ultimate Nindo Supreme, Love Deep, costs 160 energy. Its effect enters the seal form state. Immediately gains one extra turn and three points of Chroma Ink. At the same time, it increases weakness, break efficiency, and break effect for Rapper. While in seal form, enhances basic attack but cannot use skill and ultimate. After using the enhanced basic attack, it consumes one point of Chroma Ink. When it's depleted, Rapper exits the seal form state. Rapper's talent, Ninja Tech Endurance Gauge, states that whenever an enemy target's weakness is broken, Rapper deals toughness reduction that ignores weakness type to adjacent targets and deals break damage, scaling off Rapper's imaginary break damage. Let's not forget about Rapper's technique, Ninja Dash, by leaps and bounds where she enters the graffiti state for 20 seconds. After entering combat by actively attacking enemies, ignores weakness type to deal toughness reduction to each enemy target, deals break damage equals scaling off Rapper's imaginary break damage to the targets, and deals break damage scaling off Rapper's imaginary break damage to the adjacent targets. At the same time, it regenerates some energy for this unit. Now let's talk about Rapper's major traces, which really enhance her capabilities. First, we have the Ninjutsu inscription, Sky High, which says that when an enemy target's weakness gets broken, Rapper regenerates two energy. If the target is an elite enemy, she additionally regenerates eight energy. This is great for energy management as she can easily get her ultimate. Next is the Ninjutsu inscription, Sea Echo, which says that during seal form after Rapper uses enhanced basic attack to deal damage to a weakness broken enemy target, she converts the toughness reduction from this instance of damage to one instance of 60% super break damage. This major trace makes it so that she can deal super break damage, therefore she is not entirely reliant on the imaginary trailblazer to use super break. Finally, there is the ninjutsu inscription, Withered Leaf, which says that when an enemy target's weakness gets broken, it increases the break damage it takes by 3%. This value is additionally increased by 1% for every 100 of Rapper's current attacks that exceed 2,000, up to a maximum additional increase of 12%. This effect lasts for two turns. So, Rapper's optimal attack stat value is 3,200 to make the most of this Tracer's effect. These traces really cement Rapper's role as a super break powerhouse and make her break effect efficiency even more potent. Rapper's major trace priority is Ninjutsu Inscription, Withered Leaf, then Ninjutsu Inscription, Sea Echo, and lastly Ninjutsu Inscription, Sky High. The traces provide Rapper with attack percent speed and break effect. Rapper's recommended endgame stats are 2,900 HP, 900 defense, 3,200 attack, 50% critical rate, 100% critical damage, 145 speed, and 350% break effect. For those lucky enough to get Rapper's Eidolons, here's a quick rundown of what they offer. Eidolon 1 returned is the Revenant with no ferry toll, states that during the seal form state entered by using ultimate, damage dealt by Rapper ignores the target's defense. After exiting the seal form state, it regenerates some energy. Eidolon 2, free is the mind enlightened by haikus. 
states that during seal form break effect additionally increases and the toughness reducing effect of enhanced basic attack against enemies without imaginary weakness additionally increases. Eidolon 4, Lost is the Nindo, Devoured by Time states that during seal form Rapper increases all party units speed. Eidolon 6, Righteous is the Wrath that spares no evil says that the break damage multiplier in the talent's effect on adjacent targets increases. Moreover, the break damage dealt and the toughness reducing effect inflicted will also apply to all enemy targets besides the weakness, broken target. While these Eidolons are powerful, remember that Rapper is still highly effective at Eidolon 0 for us free to play players. For Rapper's build, we are looking at Iron Cavalry against the Scourge as her best relic set. The two piece effect increases the break effect by 16%, while the four piece effect says that at greater than 150% break effect, it ignores 10% enemy defense for break damage, and at greater than 250% break effect, it also ignores 15% enemy defense for super break damage. For her planar set, Talia, Kingdom of Banditry is the way to go. It synergizes perfectly with Super Break teams, boosting Rapper's break effect, but requiring her to have 145 to use its second effect to additionally increase break effect by even more. When it comes to Relic main stats, we are aiming for attack percent on the body piece, speed on the feet piece, attack percent on the planar sphere, and break effect on the link rope. This build maximizes her damage output while ensuring she can efficiently break the enemy's weaknesses. Fei Xiao's relic substat priority is speed until 145 speed, then attack percent until 3200 attack, and lastly, break effect. Now let's talk light cones. Rapper's signature light cone, ninjutsu inscription, dazzling evil breaker is incredible, boosting her break effect, regenerating energy, and advancing rapper's action. That's obviously the best choice, but a gacha four star option is after the charmony fall. It increases the wearer's break effect. And after the wearer uses ultimate, it increases speed, lasting for two turns. Another four-star gacha option is Genius's Repose, which increases Rapper's attack. When Rapper defeats an enemy, Rapper's critical damage increases for three turns. Unfortunately, Genius's Repose is optimal during a conditional effect of Rapper defeating an enemy, which makes it worse than after the Charmony fall. For us free-to-play folks, Eternal Calculus is an excellent option. It increases Rapper's attack. After using an attack for each enemy target hit, additionally increases attack. This effect can stack five times and lasts until the next attack. If there are three or more enemy targets hit, Rapper's speed increases, lasting for one turn. The Seriousness of Breakfast is another free-to-play four-star light cone option that increases Rapper's damage but has the conditional effect that for every defeated enemy, Rapper's attack increases, stacking up to three times. A three-star light cone option is Sagacity, which states that when Rapper uses her ultimate, it increases her attack for two turns. For team compositions, Rapper works best with break effect characters. A team of Rapper, Imaginary Trailblazer, Ruin Mei and Lingsha is considered optimal. If you are free to play or do not have Ruin Mei, you can replace her with Hunt March 7th. If you do not have Lingsha, you can replace her with Gallagher. Rapper is an exciting addition to the roster by being a replacement for Firefly and Boot Hill in the Super Break team. Whether you are free to play or a light spender, she's definitely a character to consider pulling for. I go over a guide to Faith Xiao, 